Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me. Now, this isn't like my basic live streams. Unfortunately, I'm not home right now. I am house sitting for my parents. So, uh, I pretty much got like the most basic live stream set up for you guys. Usually I try to get <laughs> like a really nice live stream all set up, but unfortunately I don't have that right now. So, um, I will probably not be re-rolling. Um, well, I, I probably won't re-roll in this video. I'll show you basically um, <laughs> how re-rolling will work. Um, I might do it on my own later to get my account all set up and and moving. So, what's up, Sirio? Welcome to the live stream. Paul, Abraham, welcome. Tom, Itachi, Manru58, Kate, Gold Gang, Kukul, welcome. Sean, Abu Zoro, Joey, guys, welcome to the live stream. And I apologize, my dog is probably going to freak out because my dog does not like other dogs. And our police dogs are outside right now. <laughs> so... He's gonna probably freak out during the live stream. And I apologize, there's no face camera, it's just just audio, so we're gonna go through this. It's gonna be a lot of fun, you guys. We're gonna take this nice and slow, going through the game, um, playing it, and just having a lot of fun. We're gonna talk. Let's go ahead, let's tap to get started. So hopefully everything runs super good because I'm not used to uh, my parents' internet, so hopefully the live stream looks really good. So the goddess vowed to protect the world and all its create creatures. Guys, I'm really glad that we finally have this in English. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> You're welcome, Rick. Prologue, the sixth, sixth world and the descending sun. Impossible, the arch demon's main forces are already here. You look displeased, Raz. Understandable, given the situation. But you can't give up. You're the heir of the covenant and this world's last hope. Now, I don't really know the story because... Um, it was all in Korean the last time that I played it, so we're going to kind of go through this at more of a casual, just checking out the story and everything like that, so it should be a lot of fun. With that in mind, let's check today's rabbit fortune cookie. You brought... That's not what I thought the game would start off with, with fortune cookies. I'm amazed they aren't crumble. What? What in the world is this translation? We don't have time for all this chatting. We must reach the center of the sanctuary soon. Once we reach the power of creation... There we should be able to fight on equal terms with the RGD. I love how they're about to fight a demon and they're talking about fortune cookies. The main, the main guy, this guy right here's name is Rass. I don't know if that's actually the main guy, so. Yo, Spectre, thanks for being here, man. Even though it's 3 a.m., that's awesome. 6 p.m. for Rick. Guys, thanks so much for being here. By the way, I'm not disliking the English dub, but I kind of prefer the Korean more. Oh, if I could read Korean subtitles, I would play the, on the Korean version. Um, the only reason why I play on... I think you can actually switch over to Korean, which I might end up doing. I think they have the option. I'm sure Fortune will be on audio. our side today as well. Yeah, you're right. That that audio is kind of weird. Uh, tap an enemy to attack. Okay. Huh? I can't lose. Ooh, you're right. You're right. The, over here, the English Wait. audio really isn't super good. I know that's what they were like working Fortune on like crazy. Will favor us. Fortune will favor us. I don't have a link to the. Oh, sorry, I don't have a link to the game right now. But it, you just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and just look it up. You can find. You can find it pretty quickly. Or if you've got like APK Pure, if you go there, you can uh, basically just search the game up. You can find it pretty fast. So um, this guy, you just know he's going to be evil. Obviously, I'm, I'm actually interested to see in the story. How that evil ends up working. I'm gonna go ahead. No, we'll, we'll go through this just so you guys can see some of the English dialogue and stuff. Yo, what's up, Fat Core Man? Welcome to the live stream. There is a lot of dialogue at the beginning. I usually skip through this. All right, here we go. We got this guy now. Shall we go? He's got defeating an enemy can activate my passive ability. I'm glad that we can actually read the abilities now. This one is Dancing Blades. When the enemy is defeated, increase attack of caster for one turn and attacks all enemies one more time. Each attack, an enemy is defeated. Combat readiness increases by 20%. Okay. He <laughs> died, and then he gets to attack again. Nice. There we go. I will, right. I will probably Shall swap back up? over to the Korean um, audio. <laughs> 
I, like, like, I'm not saying like the English said. audio is bad, the English voice acting is bad. It's just, I, I feel like the Korean one is definitely a lot better, so. Dude, this guy gets like, look how, look how mad he is. He's about to die, too. Dude, you need to make some ASMR vids, soothing voice. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, I have to say, so there's a part that will come up. Uh, you, we'll see a video. I'm pretty sure it's after this tutorial section. It is absolutely crazy, you guys. I can't wait till we get to, like, the actual summoning part because, uh... I, I want to know if I, if we get anything I good. I want to get Secret. She's my favorite character, so... Uh, wave of Light, attack all enemies by distorting space and time. Yeah, let's do that. This is their ultimate abilities. It is my Whoa. duty. Come to me. Oh, man. I can see why people like the ultimate abilities in this game, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to get... I hope... I want to get Secret. I know that everyone's saying that Sez is one of the best characters to go for right now. Um, however, I've, I've heard a lot from the community. Um, I'm sure Fortune oh, will be on our guy. side today as well. Guys, this this part is freaking nuts. Watch this. Like, this is like an over-the-top animation right here. Like... <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is like the most... Okay, this is it. This is the cinematic I was talking about. Um, I feel really, really bad for a certain character in the cinematic. And I'll, I'll show you which one it is. I think it's her. I'm pretty sure it's this girl right here. The thing is, is you can't, you can't skip past these, uh, these animations. Yeah, the animations in this game are like the highlights for me at least. They look absolutely insane. Um, I, 13 Darkness, I actually really like the game. I haven't gotten a chance to play the English version just yet, but I played the Korean and I already really liked it, so. Now I have heard some complaints from Korean players about development and things like that in the game. Um, oh, there's English. Hey, watch this. Like, holy crap. <laughs> okay, I feel bad for this girl right here. Watch this. Yeah, she's straight up dead. She just died. Is my microphone too... If my microphone's too... Um, not loud enough, let me know. I could actually probably turn down the audio on the game. Okay, let me know. Let me know if that works better, okay? Yeah, some of the animations in this game are absolutely crazy. I didn't realize they were going to add English dub over some of the uh, some, some of the cinematics as well. So that's actually, I kind of like that. Chapter 1. I'll, I'll probably keep um, the English dub for a little bit just so I can hear some of the characters' dialogues and stuff. Just so I know what they're saying. I think this is new. I don't remember that girl. The ribbon is so heavy. Okay, I don't... Did this happen in the Korean one? Why do I not remember this girl? The Archdemon was defeated 20 years ago by the heirs, their guardians, and Queen Dien. So this isn't... I thought this was like the game started you in the past. It looks like the game starts you um, in the future. You owe a merchant guild. Don't worry, we don't expect you to pay us. Queen Dien was the one who left you with us, so obviously it will ultimately be her responsibility. I'm surprised that the dialogue is as funny as it <laughs> as it's showing. So, uh, in the castle, of course, you don't have to rush. Someone from Tyrell Castle will be here shortly. Goddess, how in the world do you say that name? Deshay. I'm gonna say it's Deshay and not the other thing that I'm thinking of, because that would be like the worst <laughs> like name for a, for a goddess. So you also, by the way, this guy's straight up evil. It happens in like chapter ten. We're going to go all the way up to uh, part 10 in the game. Going through the tutorial and actually like trying to understand what the heck it's teaching us. So here we go. This is the main screen. This is week's events. So we've got Destina, which is one of the best healers that you can possibly get in the game. And they've got special global launch events going on right now, which is really nice. 
Um, I'm not going to hit more details because uh, I don't really want to... It's a trade secret. Oh my gosh. This is the World's End Pub, located in Sanctuary. You can visit the shop, strengthen your heroes, and make your own team. But for now, why don't you go ahead and adventure? Let's do that. Adventuring. Ready up. On this stage, Sir Vildred will act as your supporter and will help you in battle. Go ahead and select our team. We only got one guy right now, so let's go ahead and just do this. This game is, yeah, this game is super epic. I love it. Epic 7. Also, I, I apologize, too. If anyone didn't realize that this guy right here, the guy that looks like Sasuke, is uh, an evil guy. He's really cool, though. Like, he had, like when you when you guys see the cinematic at the end of the, end of the live stream, I'm going to show you the cinematic. He's a pretty cool bad guy. But, I mean, like, come on. Like, just looking at his face with any anime trope, you just know this guy's gonna be the bad guy. Even though he helps us out. Our first official battle. Way, we'll cut our way through. We'll cut our way through. Uh, the English acting for this guy's okay. I got it, I got it. I've done this tutorial like 50 times. Okay, Some basic attacks. My best friend Radish, Flame Horse Pokemon thingy with my, what? Your best friends with, the, what? I beat my friend's Radish with my Zorork. Okay. I was like, Radish? Um, I heard Archdemon was defeated, but does that mean he was completely destroyed? Who knows? Who knows? Let's skip the dialogue for now. Let's get through this actual gameplay. I want to get to the sweet stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, even after the live stream tonight, you guys, I'm probably going to be playing this game like crazy. That he will be a main antagonist from seeing all the trope he has. Exactly, Siru. <laughs> exactly. All right. Shall we clean up? Yeah. English voice actor for this guy's okay. I don't think it's like the best. He does have a pretty good ability being able to attack again if he defeats an enemy. So how does the, the multi-summons work? I'll, I'll show you in the video um, how the multi-summoning works. Because I think it's really great. The game gives you a huge opportunity to do a whole bunch of summons uh, right off the bat. So um, you have to get past stage or chapter one, stage 10 in order for you to do the 30 times summon. So I got it. I got it. We're just going to, we're just going to keep moving along. Yo, what's up? Beware. Welcome, man. Assyria will be our next teammate. Go ahead and quest start. Now with the supporters in the game, you can pick some of your friends, characters and stuff to join you. Um, and for instance, if one of your characters ends up falling in battle, they'll jump in and take over. So I did my multi-summon, had to re-roll soap. No! Even though they give you like a crazy amount of summons, it's the worst if you have to, uh, if you have to re- if you have to like take go back off. through and re-roll. That sucks. We got 80 people. Oh man, yeah. Welcome everyone to the live stream. This girl right here is Syria. I don't know how good she is, but I think she's such a cool character. She's got like all these like floating blades and I'm sad I'm that she's not a started. character that you get off right off the bat So let's just keep going Black sword black long hair devilish eyes black clothes sarcastic personality screams bad guy to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh Man, totally get Look at ready. these. I love the animations for some of these monsters. Let's see. Let's read some of these abilities Reset skill cooldowns of all allies except for the caster with the light energy uh, full bloom attack with a giant with a giant magic sword dispelling all buffs and making them unable to be buffed for two turns That's actually pretty good. Watch this. We're gonna do an ultimate move you guys In full bloom, The sword of flowers The sword of flowers Jeez And you kill one pumpkin <laughs> one pumpkin slime uh, beware, I would recommend giving the tr giving the game a try just to see if you like it or not. Um, like, my taste in games may be different from your taste in games. I mean, it's a new game, so why not? Why not give it a try, right? Get some of that flower power. She's more specialized for PvP. I could see that. I think she Oh, yeah, with the debuffs and stuff. Oh, I could totally see that. That would come in really handy against some people. Now, the bottom, you have this burn mechanic. And it's pretty obvious, but you gain these like mana orbs by defeating monsters. Uh, you find altars and stuff that you can use. By activating it, it makes uh, certain abilities stronger than others. 
Um, also, if you're going up against a boss, you just have to defeat the boss, and all the other enemies will die. So I like started. that. Uh, if you want, you can just crush the boss and then not have to worry about all the little minions. And then these crystals right here that you see in the bottom, those are the premium currency in the game. So the game does give you a somewhat generous, like a little bit of crystal. It takes 100 crystals to summon. So if you run through like seven or eight, um, oh, look at that. Receive new heroes through connections and assign them to your team. You can now make connections with the Aether. Receive new heroes. I didn't even know what that was in the Korean one. Okay, ah, Aether has come all this way to see you. If you want to recruit the prince, please talk to him. Yo, what's up, Mash Momo man? How you doing? What makes Epic 7 so hype? Art Soldier, I'm going to be 100% serious with you. I think the only reason why this game is so hyped is people, people really love gotcha RPG games. And this game just has really good animations and, and really good uh, art for their characters. I really think that those are the main reasons why this game is so hyped. It's because it's a new game. It's got really fun um, animations and characters and stuff. Wow. Other than that, you're greeting me. Really? It's just an overall like <laughs> I'm so a well like well polished. I want to say. Um, tap add her to my team. I want to add the slime to my team. One of these days, um, Prince Aether's level is very low. Let's make him stronger. No, I'm gonna. I didn't know you could cancel that. If you guys want to know how to do it, uh, level up, you just go ahead, click on the character, enhance, and then you just select some some fodder, some things that you can feed to them. You enhance them. That is so nice. That is like way, way nice. Okay, let's go ahead and head back. Oh, we can go to our mail already? I wonder what kind of rewards the GMs are giving out. Wow, they're giving a lot. Oh man, they're giving a good amount. That is awesome. So 300 crystals. Uh, these tokens right here, it takes five tokens to do a summon. So this, they basically give you three free summons. These, this is stamina. This, I don't know what this is. Two star penguin pack. Oh, penguins are used for uh, leveling up your characters. Bada bing. This is a three star penguin pack. Uh, they're giving us more summons. So, so far you can do up to four summons. This is a one-star penguin pack. And then they give you a free four-star character right off the bat. Uh, I actually really like her. I think she I think she's a fantastic character, Mercedes. Um, at least I, I kept her on my main team on the Korean servers, so. We I wish we could do like summons already, so. We can't. They they we have to beat uh, number one through four. Um, so we we can't do it right now, but we can definitely go through, go to our team. Go ahead and add her to the back line. Did I guess I don't think I got anybody else. I just got penguins. I know you're not supposed to I know you're not supposed to put penguins on your team, but let's do it. Oh, you can't do it. Okay, whatever. How do we reroll in this game? I was told we don't connect our account to anything and don't pick a name nickname, is that right? Uh the way you reroll, so you have to get past uh chapter one, section ten. And then you get 300 summons. It's called the selective summon, which right, right here, but we can't do that just yet, but I'll show you. Um, and then if you don't get what you want, if you actually go up here to your name, um, go to settings, and then you go ahead and hit reset. Um, it'll reset your account and then you can go back through and do it again. The only problem is you have to go through the story and the story can take a really long time. So to be honest, it takes upwards of like 20 to 30 minutes. Well, actually, I guess you could do it a little bit faster than that. Um, maybe 15 to 20 minutes if you're going like crazy fast. To, in order to do the rerolls. But we're going to end up doing a whole bunch of summons during this. So this is a gacha game. I'm not a big fan of gacha games, but it's downloading right now so I can try it out. Yeah, why not? I I like, I like gacha games, um, but I'm more... I, I like playing these kind of games because it's a turn-based strategy. And I really like those, so... Um, and then after one time you can do multi summons with 30 As tries. Yeah, Siri is right. So we're gonna just try to move our way through this as quickly as we possibly can. I'll take you um, on. I'll take you on. I feel like I should have done voice acting for this game. Mercedes, preparation complete. Mercedes' voice is pretty cool. Yo, we'll see a fact core. Thank you so much for being here, man. 
But to be honest, I don't want to re-roll. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm planning on re-rolling. I might if I just if I don't get anything good. Because um, I do want to set up my... Because I do plan on playing this game like a whole bunch. So I'm hoping I'll get something good. Something decent in the 300 summons. I'll give you a rest. <laughs> uh, so the nickname see. doesn't matter, correct? Because when you hit 1-4, four, it forces you to pick a nickname. I don't know. Did I... Do I have a nickname? I don't remember. I think it's connected to one of my old accounts. Yes. Guys, hit that like button. And I've got a huge announcement that I want to share with everybody. It's something I'm really excited to, uh, to tell you guys. I can't lose. Yeah, Ed, it'll force you to pick a nickname. It's been a while since I've done, I've gone through and actually re-rolled, so. We got the good studded club. Can you hoard control? I'll give you a rest. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take the boss out using her Forever. ultimate. I pledge myself. What? She had a different voice line than the first time. I, I pledge myself. My power. Dude, check out her animation. It's crazy. Blaze. Oh. It's so insane it made my entire screen your... freeze. By my command. Victory! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, need to do my best. I think this is a healing ability. Yeah, I'm just going to do a basic attack because he's almost dead. I don't think he'll die from this. No. Get ready. Here we go. Yo, what's up? MapleSword 2 has been taking up my time, but now I'm going to try to play both. Don't know how I will balance my time between the both of them. I have thought about doing... Congratulations. Um, become stronger. Yeah, we got Arcasus. I didn't realize that he was that was his name. Um, I've been wanting to play Maple Story 2. In, my, in fact, my wife wants to play it with me, so. Go ahead and give Arcasis. Look how sweet that character looks. We got a new guardian. So we've got the guardian function unlocked. Which is gonna teach us how to do the guardian function. Go to your team. And then on the back, we're gonna select our guardian. And the guardian is like that big dude that we saw at the very beginning. Uh, Guardian is an heir uh, is an heir's comrade in arms that assists them with powerful skills. Guardians can be acquired in adventure mode. They get stronger as your team's combat power increases, and each guardian has their own unique skills and abilities. So, um, somebody just summoned a haste hero. I don't know what that means. Maybe we can do a single summon. Doesn't oh it doesn't look like it just yet. They do have a healing function, by the way. Uh, you can instant heal all of your characters. You spend a little bit of gold. You can heal your characters, or they just slowly heal up over time. Just to let you guys know. Yo, good night, beware. Have a good time. So it's the Sky Breeze. Here's our here's our nickname. Here we go. Let's change. You may not use spaces, special characters. Okay, that's fine. I will not let me. Oh. It's not letting me do it, you guys. I can't click on it. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Do you, do you love how it still said it was like still in Korean? There we go. Noise. I got my name. I got my name. That's what I wanted. We have a boss on this stage, you guys. Also, I apologize if there's people subscribing and joining the Coolio crew. I can't see. <laughs> I, like, I'm, I'm literally using one monitor right now, so I cannot see uh, the stuff. But if you subscribe, let me know in the com or let me know in chat, and I will give Shall you a go? shout out. I, I love to make sure that you guys, you know. <laughs> You guys get your highlights. Command, Command you. Wow, she's kind of uh Obey me. You can't obey me? Kind of spicy. Let me help you. I'm currently playing Alchemist Code and this. It's Am crazy I how console and PC worthy now? games are like on. Me? Honestly, I there we're getting to the point where console quality games are starting to come to the mobile platform. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Also, uh some of you guys right. might want to know Shall this. Um yeah. 
for some reason this game doesn't work on blue stacks four i can't lose um but it does sorry it does work um on blue stacks three so i actually ended up downloading blue stacks three in order to run this game i want to take that nickname no match you can't take that nickname Boss encounter. Out of the way. They're stronger, the obviously. No, I don't need a tutorial. Go ahead and burn this. Use my ultimate. His ultimate's pretty cool too. Jeez. Wow, they did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Preparation complete. Call. Unveil your eye of terror. Ah, yeah, Sirio. I have played. Um, I have played Azure Lane. In fact. I had it on my phone for a really, really long time. I'm probably going to re-download it and continue to play because I was playing it during the Fallen Wings event and I was planning on doing a, doing a video about the Fallen Wings event. I just I didn't have any time to actually play the game. Shall we go? Uh, so unfortunately, I, I ended up uninstalling the game just for a little bit because... But I, I really like... I actually really do like Azure Lane. I think it's got a lot of, a lot of mechanics, a lot of fun to it, so... We're almost done taking this guy out. Our hero's gonna kill him. Boom! Yo, face your boxer, welcome, man. Uh, yes, you are improving. Thank you. We got a couple of weapons. We are now rank four, and we got a rare weapon. Stage cleared. I'm glad that I get to see those in English now because for the longest time, I had no idea um, what any of that was. So here we go. This is the infinite library. I think, is that what it's called during the summons? Okay, here's the summons. I doubt I'm gonna get anything crazy. But we got a couple of different types of summons you can do. There's a specific character that I really, really want. I don't know if she's available. Here we go. And you can tell if you get a four star or higher because it'll go glow gold. Okay, he's all right. Butcher Corpse Inquisitor. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. He's not my favorite character. I was hoping for somebody else. I mean, I've never gotten anything like crazy uh, in that summon. So, also, if you guys want to know, the games that I'm currently playing right now, like heavily playing, is are going to be Epic 7... Um, Ragnarok M, Eternal Love. I have been obsessed with that game. That game is, I think, to me personally, is hands down the best MMORPG on mobile platform. Only because, like, you actually can play the game. Go ahead and skip that. I hope this one is not too overwhelming to become my second. I, there is auto in this game. Yeah, there is auto in this game. The only weird thing is um, with the auto combat in this game is it doesn't, it doesn't pick up treasure and, and boxes like that. So you might miss out on some small rewards. Talk to her. We want, we're going to go up north. Are you going to try Naruto Online Mobile when it comes out? Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know if you guys... I'm sure some of you guys know him. Uh, one of my personal favorite YouTubers is FG3000. Um, he played Naruto Online for like the longest time. I love watching that, that guy's videos. If you guys ever get a... If you guys ever watch FG3000's videos, um, tell him I said hi, because... I would love to do like a collaboration of video with him. Yeah, he's one of my personal favorite YouTubers. We, we kind of do similar content, so. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's FG3000. We're back in the place to be. I love that intro. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great YouTuber. And like there are some other YouTubers and stuff like that that I watch and stuff. But FG is just, he's, he's such a chill guy that he makes you feel like, he, like you're part of like his YouTube family. So I think... I think that's why I like him. He, he's a he's a great YouTuber. He does he does he makes a lot of content. He knows his stuff. Yeah, he's a great YouTuber. Go ahead, head back. 
Now this right here, it's like a daily bonus thing. It will slowly build up and give you sky stones and gold. So the game does give you a little bit of that every single day. That's not too bad. Uh, let's head back. What's the sought out here, hero to start off with? Uh, I've heard people saying Sez. Um, Sez is an assassin hero that has a ton of damage. Destina as well as another character that a lot of people are going for because she's a she's a pretty good healer. I heard that she did get a, a little bit of a nerf after the game came out, like a, like a couple weeks or something after the game came out. Um, go ahead and enhance. Uh, but she's still a really good healer. They just kind of, I can't remember if they nerfed her or they buffed other healers to make them more viable, but she's supposed to be pretty good too. So, uh, and we'll get into some of this stuff maybe a little bit later. A lot of this uh, enhancement equipment stuff, maybe do some uh, gameplay video or some tutorial videos and stuff. Yo, Gearsteiner, welcome, man. Uh, Zero Two, welcome. Axel Cordova, welcome. 83 Black Thunder, welcome, man. Hung Nyung, I, I probably butcher your name. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're over 100, <laughs> 100 people watching, which is absolutely insane. You guys are crazy. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Rob off of Comics Explained. Um, man, it's been a I know who you're talking about. I'm trying to remember what... what what his voice sounds like. We've only got a couple more acts before we get our 300 summons. So I'm pretty, pretty flipping stoked, you guys. So, uh, no, we're just going to cancel. We don't need no tutorial. I know how to play this game. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. I played the, I played the Korean version, so I have a basic understanding of the gameplay I mechanics. Lose. If you guys want to try to get through the tutorial as fast as possible, I recommend just canceling a lot of the tutorials, especially like maybe like the power. first time you go through it, you can um, read the tutorials and stuff if you never played the game before. But if you decide to re-roll, um, go ahead and skip through the tutorials and um, make sure to level up and equip items onto your characters because they'll end up doing more damage and help you get through the tutorials and these stages a little bit faster. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be re-rolling in this video, uh, R Arl0322. Sorry, I probably butchered your name. Um, I don't know if I'll be re-rolling in this video, because, like I said, it takes... If you're, if you're taking your time like I am right now, it takes 30 minutes. Look, we're already 35 minutes in to, uh, to do re-rolling in this game. Ooh, let's see this guy's ultimate. Now he's not like a really like uh, rare character, so he doesn't have like a special animation. The abyss. Hey, greetings all the way from Colombia. Welcome, Ozzy. Welcome to the live stream. Need to do my best. Um, I might re-roll just on my own outside of the live. This is gonna be my main account. Uh, I do have a. Am I helpful now? Do you I do like have a, a, a my Korean account, and I hope I get characters. That my Korean account does because I've got some pretty good characters on it, like uh, Secret, Secret. I want. I'm gonna say her name is Secret. You can't. Man, escape. I. Uh, I really Please. hope I get her because she's like one of my personal favorites. There was, there was another character that I saw and I'm trying to remember who it was, that I think looked really really cool. Um, let's go ahead and, and heal people up on our side. Like she's got a healing animation as well. Ravi on Mercedes, the second pool. Complete. Man, I don't know. Like, I the thing is, is I don't know all the characters' names and their English name. For so it's hard for me to tell. Um, if you go over to the Reddit forums, you can. You some people are talking about what characters to roll for. The only ones I know for sure right now are Sez and Destina, but there are some three-star characters and four three-star characters. There are some pretty dang good three-star characters. Um, that you can use that do a lot of damage and stuff. So don't think that just because you get three stars that they're bad. There's a couple of them that are actually pretty good. And I've heard are better than even some four stars. So, Oh, the girl with the axe? Yeah, I would keep her. She's got... Uh, if you level her up and rank uh, and really... Uh, and work on enhancing her, I heard she does really, really good. So I know she's got... Um, if it's the character I'm thinking of with the big axe... I know there's two of them that have like a, this big axe. She's she's kind of like a she's like wearing red clothing, right? Um, if I remember right, um, she 
has like an ability that increases how like your 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 team's turns, how many times your team can take you their turns, escape. but I'm not sure so. You said that you liked FG, so I subbed. <laughs> oh cool. Uh yeah, I, I like FG. He's he's one of my favorite YouTubers. This came from Korean 3 Ninja Pool video. Didn't even know Global was released. Well, hey, welcome Ed. Welcome to the live stream too. Glad that you're here. Glad that you uh that you're here for the game. Let me know if you end up downloading it. Also, if you guys have any um if you guys have any cool summons that you've gotten so far in the game, let me know in the in the in chat. Uh, what was the Ragnarok game you were talking about? Uh, 83 Black Thunder. It is called Ragnarok M Eternal Love, but it's they have a global version of it, but it's not officially released global. It is um, only available in in the on in the sea, like in the Philippines and stuff. So I need to kill up. Need to do my best. You. Awesome, downloading now. That's awesome. Got Destina and Riven. Man, game is awesome. Only problem escape. they made Destina's voice manly instead of cute. That was on the. Are you serious? As, as soon as you said manly, I'm like thinking of uh, like someone with like a really deep Scottish accent. I will release my power. My friend is about to no life this game. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be playing this game like crazy. I do like the fact that this game has a pretty decent auto combat system. Am I? One of the things I'm a little like sad about it? is they had some events over on the Korean version that I was really, really hoping that they would have available as soon as the global version came out, but they they don't. They're not here. Like the at least I haven't seen them. The Halloween event. Um The Halloween event. You get these it's like Dragon Girl that's way cool. Um, I'm trying to remember what her name is. If you guys know if you guys know the names of the characters, Mercedes, uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, and then there was another girl. I think her name is Euphina. Man, I really, really want Euphina. I think she is so cool. So, um, I think, because I want to, I want to do my announcement. If you guys didn't know this, if you guys uh, hadn't seen it, um, I'm going to be making a special announcement during this live stream. Something I'm, I'm really, really excited for. So, that's kind of lame that you can't play on a rooted device. Luna is the drag. Thank you, Luna. She's so cool. And then the how the, the 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 pumpkin witch lady that just came out too, started. I think, is way cool. But we might not get them for a while, so. So do you know what got taken out of the global server or just not in the game yet? Um, I man, I'm not sure. As far as I'm aware, there's just certain events happening right now on the Korean server that we don't have on the global server. But I'm not sure in terms of like characters. I think the characters are there. Um, they're just not doing special banners for them like they are in the Korean one. So, guys, we only got like two more stages. Um, so we're done. Hey, how did your cabinets turn out? You'll have to send me some pictures. Um, I, our cabinets are not done yet, and, and Mash, we found out we need, we have to put a third layer on the cabinets in order for them to even look good. So, we still have a lot of painting. In fact, this Saturday, I'm, that's all I'm doing is going over to the house and painting. Uh, Coolio, what are your thoughts on the new Diablo game? I have, I have honestly, honestly been wanting to make a video about the Diablo game and all the stuff that's happened. But there are so many people that have jumped on this hype train of hating Blizzard and, and Diablo, and this new Diablo game. I don't want to be like that. Here, here's my thoughts, and I'll do my best to, to kind of trim it down. Um, I'm personally excited for the Diablo game for two reasons. One, I know that there have been action RPG games on the mobile platform, and they continue to get better. However, I don't feel like there's like a, a generally really, really good Diablo style action RPG, especially with the, the looting mechanics and the tone, the style of gameplay that Diablo is. So I'm pretty excited that a Diablo type experience is coming to the mobile platform. Um, and then the other reason why I'm excited, I know that NetEase, yeah, NetEase is the ones that are making the game. 
and some people are saying it's just like a reskin of one of their other games. Here's the thing, they're using the same engine as that game, so obviously people are going to compare it. But like if you've ever looked at screenshots for any action mobile game, it has almost the exact same layout as what they're talking about. So I, you can't really say it's a reskin. You can't really say that's like a bad thing. They're using the same engine as their other game. It's just, I don't know. Um, but the other reason why I'm excited is Blizzard is known for releasing very high quality games with an excellent amount of polish on top of it. So I'm hoping that they bring that polish to this mobile game. I understand why people are mad, okay? Like 100% I, I agree with people that were mad because they went to the to the event expecting a PC announcement for um, preparation complete. for Diablo 4 or a, um, take you what's the word I'm thinking of? Or a renewal of the old Diablo game so I can understand why they're upset. But people that say, people that hate the new Diablo game, I need to do my best. I, I, like I feel like people are, they're more angry because, you know, they didn't get what they wanted, obviously. Shall we clean up? And I and I don't blame them. I I definitely think Blizzard should have handled it in a justice. way better way. Um, but you can't blame the game itself because the game hasn't even come out yet. Like how can and then people that are saying, eh, I'm not sold on the experience. It didn't really feel good. You played a demo version at BlizzCon and you had maybe a total of 40 minutes to try it out. So you can't really say if the game's good or not. I'm just saying, like don't don't judge the game itself yet. Because we haven't even had a chance to play it. I mean, the game's going to be huge, okay? The game is going to be huge. But you can definitely be upset at Blizzard because they went about it the wrong way, so. Um, yes, Joey, I 100% agree with you. I've been talking to my coworkers and stuff. I'm talking to other people about it. Um, they should have done what Bethesda did because when it comes to mobile games, a lot of us here on the channel right now, you guys in the chat... Um, are probably excited for it because you guys like mobile games. That's why you're even here on my channel. I, I cover mainly mobile games. Um, Command me. So I like I'm excited for it because it's a mobile game. But there's a huge How? stigma for a lot of other players that mobile games aren't good terror. games. Even though most of us here on the channel uh, would probably disagree with that because there are some fantastic mobile games. And you can see I right now lose. there's a huge push to bring higher quality mobile games. Such as, such as the upcoming Elder Scrolls Blades game, right? And then the new Diablo game. Um, I know there's one for... There, there's a lot more, like, the Skylanders game that's coming out. Um, so I know there's this, this stigma over mobile games. Uh, so I can understand why people are upset. But Bethesda did it in a really good way. So they announced, look, we've got a mobile game. It's coming out. It's an Elder Scrolls game. And now... It's almost in the same situation as Diablo 3, because Skyrim came out a long time ago, and we've been waiting for uh, Elder Scrolls 6. What? I don't know what you're saying. You're going to go buy cookies? Just say what you want to say. You're going on a drive? Sorry, I'm talking to my wife. I don't, just say what you're going to say. You want to order crumble cookies? Oh, nice. Guys, I'm getting free cookies tonight. Ordered free cookies. Um, what was I saying? I yeah, Bethesda Bethesda did a really good thing. They announced the mobile game. They were probably really excited about it, just like, uh, just like Diablo is with Diablo Immortal. But then they teased the upcoming Elder Scrolls game, which is what people really wanted. Honestly, and like I've done graphical design and stuff. I think it probably would have taken Blizzard a week to make some kind of logo thing that just briefly appeared on screen um, for the new Diablo 4 game or something, you know? And they said they're working on, there's been reports that they said they're working on Diablo projects that aren't the mobile version. So I think they could have done that. And I think a lot of people would have been more excited for Diablo Immortal. And it's mainly because people are upset just because how the presentation went out, how the, how the developers treated the people. Um, but in all honesty, you can't blame the game because the game's not even out yet, so. Yeah, it's going down. Bad bad publicity. Another thing that they did that was so stupid is they deleted people's YouTube comments. That is a huge no-no. Don't, don't do that. So, 
It was like that they planned to reveal a teaser of Diablo 4, but it got... Exactly! I, they should have They should have done it. But I don't know why they didn't. Another game that came out, uh, that announced, was the Command & Conquer game. Yeah, you guys don't have phones? That was dumb. That was that was a really stupid thing for them to say. That that basically, like, kind of slapped their audience in the face. Uh, hey, Coolio, don't you play Final Fantasy Brave Exvius? I... Did a while ago, a long time ago, but I haven't in a while. Uh, do I still play Dragalia? Um, I currently don't have it installed on my phone, only because I don't have a whole lot of room on my phone, and I was planning, I was covering some other games that were really big games. Um, but I do plan on reinstalling it and playing it because I do, I do enjoy the game. It's just, I feel like I had to take a break because it's it's a really really grindy game, and I was getting I was getting very. Uh, Exhausted by the grind, and like the auto combat in that game is, you can't escape. Is is okay, but you can't. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of grind. So, uh, Bless Mobile, Terra Mobile, Riders of Icarus Mobile, Black Desert Mobile platform is it is taking over, and you can see like congratulations. It's it's a big thing. Mobile gaming is becoming a lot bigger. So, from a business look, it's it is very good. Mobile games are popping off, especially in Asia and stuff. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, they're going to get most of their money from the Asian market and all that stuff, which is true. But the game is going to be big here. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, no, nah, I'm not going to play that. Diablo's dead. It's not dead. Diablo's not dead. It's still a very popular franchise. When they announce Diablo 4, people are going to go crazy and they're still go and they're going to download it and play it. People that say that they're never going to play Diablo games again are going to play it. Are going to play it, so... Um, but I but I'm not saying that the feelings that you guys have people that are upset about about it um, That we can't acknowledge it because it's true like it was just it was a really bad Situation everything that kind of ended up happening so um, We're almost to the reroll we have this is the uh, This is the last summon. This is the last stage we have to do and then we're gonna do the rerolls and then after the re-rolls, I'm going to do my announcement, okay? Yes, Dead Cells is coming to mobile. Absolutely amazing. But they have said they were not prepared to commit to that announcement since the game has gone through a lot of problems thanks to the directors being switched a few times. Yeah, I heard, I heard about that too. I, I still think, like, even if they would have just showed a logo, nothing else, just a logo like what... Um, can't lose. Yeah, just a simple logo for Diablo 4 would have been better than nothing. I'm, that's all I'm saying. At least just letting the people know we are working on a Diablo 4, I think would have helped out a lot to uh, to overcome a lot of the negative stigma that happened. So I think another reason is the fact that it's done by NetEase. You're right that Blizzard always delivers high-quality games and it's always developed in-house. It's true. NetEase does have problems with their games. 100%. But according to what the developers said, which... You still have to take it with a grain of salt because how much of it is PR control, you know, damage control. As they said, they've been working very closely lose. with art assets and gameplay assets with NetEase. Um, but I think the reason why they chose an outside developer like that to do it is so they could still work on, use most of their resources on games in-house rather than using some of their developers on the mobile one, which, yeah. Yes, this game does have PvP. What's the difference between Asia and global server? The global server, as far as I know right now, uh, just doesn't have certain events that the uh, that the uh, the Asian servers do. I can't confirm anything else as of right now because. So. How does this compare to other games? Um, I I really like this game. I think it's definitely going to be one of the top gotcha games of this year. Um, okay, let's head this way. Here's the saddest. Oh no, I don't want to hear the sad news. Sad news is the worst. Hey, hey. I'll take you on. My God is watching. Need to do my best. Sorry guys. Like I said, if you guys weren't here before, <laughs> um, we've got our police dogs out back, and Harvey, our my dog. My power. Hates them. And so one of them came up to the porch and scared lose. him. So I apologize. I'm going to do my best to make sure that he doesn't continue to freak out. So they announced that they are making the game PG and that their target demographic was kid. No! Are you talking about Diablo Immortals? 
They... Oh, man. Okay, here we go. This is the story time. We're almost done, you guys. We're all, we've almost got to the summon part. Um, Axel, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard some people from the Korean market say that they're... I, I haven't heard that you can well super hard in this game, but I haven't heard that spending money is the best. So I don't, I'm not sure. They do give you a good amount of premium currency here and there. Um, enough that you can do a couple, you know, maybe like a couple 10 summons a week. Um, I think there's some more generous games out there. Uh, who am I going to re-roll for? I'm going for Secret because she's like my favorite character. Is this the ceiling sphere? Oh, let's listen to this. Says or uh, Destina are the other ones I'm looking for too. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Sounded like he was pooping. Okay. And now, he, look, he looks pretty cool. Now he's like all evil. Yo, Yuzuki, thank you so much for subscribing, man. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you for letting me know that you subscribed. I apologize, I can't see the subscription notifications right now. So if you end up subscribing, let me know in the comments and uh, I will totally give you a shout out. The ultimate poop. This guy pooped so hard, his clothes turned white. My wife is like, what are you doing? You can't escape. You can't escape. Master sure, I can't. <laughs> from what I heard from the Scion power. games, it's kind of free to play friendly, but you have to be patient. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would like the game played with chases like Naruto Online. I just find it cool with the combos you can do. But hey, the game's already so it's fine. Did you start your game in guest start or for rerolling? No, I didn't, but there, there's a way that you can go back through and reset your account um, and try rerolling again. So it's not, it's not too bad. It essentially kind of like erases your account. Go, my little furball. I summon you, Pikachu. I don't know. I, I think that was Pikachu. Jeez. Command me. Oh shoot! My freaking healer just died. I, that's not what I wanted. I thought she was doing good. This one can answer me a question. In the Play Store, it still asked me to pre-register, which I did, but I can't download it. Play. Is there a fix for this? Ooh, I don't know. You could try downloading the APK from like apkpure.com and try doing it from there. And I will release my power. Ultimate move to finish him off. Unveil your eye of terror. Manage to get Chloe from one of my selective summons. Anyone can tell me if she's good. Chloe, 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 Chloe. I'm trying to remember what she looks like. Um. Man, I'm trying to remember what Chloe looks like now. Guys, you got it. You got it. Give me a hand here. Which one does Chloe look like? Now this, yeah, this is the big trailer. This is, oh, she's a lolly with a toy hammer. I heard she's good. I don't know if she's great, but I heard that she's good. That's all I can say. Now we can watch the beautiful cinematic, uh, the anime intro. This is pretty sweet music. It was showing pre-register for me too, but when I opened the page, it changed it to install. Oh yeah, maybe that'll work. I want to, I want to try Ragnarok M, but is it it's not in my country. You can if you have an Android, it's super easy to download it. Use APK Pure, do it that way. Um, if you're on iOS, it is pretty easy just to switch your account over to the Philippines. I do it all the time. Yeah, no problem, Yuzuki. Now, uh, I do think she's a really cool character. Like her overall design, Yuzuki, I think is she's super cool. Oh yeah, I would totally watch this if this was an anime. Oh. I've, I've got a question for you guys. Have any of you guys been watching the new Castlevania series on Netflix the, for season two? Because it is amazing. It reminds me of like a really dark version of like Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why. I'm a huge Dungeons and Dragons nerd, so. Seems anticlimactic without singing. Yeah, that's true. There should be singing. <laughs> oh, there, you, that was my favorite character, that girl with the, uh, the scythe. I think she's so cool. 
Yeah, it'd be awesome if they made animes of these. Yeah, the Korean VR scene was beautiful. Yeah, the, it was awesome. I, I haven't finished season two of Castlevania, but it's it's been awesome so far. I've I've enjoyed it more than season one. Oh, you don't have Netflix? I'm sorry. The fear. Okay, guys, the 300 summons is coming up. So here we go. I got it. I got it. I don't want any more tutorials. Let me just go back. There's the map. No. Thank you for that. Here we go, you guys. The selective summons. Uh, next time. Here we go. All right, guys. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Let's hope we get something really good. So here's our first summon. I wish us luck, guys. It's the time, boys. It's the time. So, okay. Our first gold summon is a um, artifact. If the little character pops up on the left side, it's an artifact. If they pop up on the right side, it's um, a hero. Now, for anyone that's curious, if you're doing the summons, you can only get one five-star summon. If you get an artifact, you will not get a five-star hero. If you get a five-star hero, you will not get a five-star artifact. So, Well, that was uh, crappy. So let's go ahead and summon again. I'm not satisfied. Got 29... The art in this game is gorgeous. I got it. Thank you. I understand. Let's summon again. Okay, so we've got a four star. And is it our first four star hero? It is. It is Rin. Okay. And we got, we only got one four star. Guys, I'm hoping to go for at least three four stars or higher, okay? I understand there might be some characters that are really good I might be skipping over. But to be honest, I'm trying to go for quantity, not quality. Because <laughs> I'm kind of like, yes, okay. Our first five star character is... Um, Ball and Cezanne. Like my least favorite character. I, I don't know if they're good or not. He's, he's just, They're just my least favorite design of a character so I should use, or should I use them for five tickets I'm not sure Yuzuki at this point on the premium currency got a four star we ended up getting oh I haven't seen her before Dominio she's an ice mage okay and we only got one not not super good you guys not super good we got a four star, and it is, it's a healer, Angelica, the Ice Soul Weaver. I don't think I've seen her character either. What ability does she have? Guide, us, guide of the Goddess, recover, recovers to health of all allies and grants a barrier and immunity for two turns. Amount recovered and barrier strength is proportional to the caster's max HP. Hmm. Origin of life, heals the ally that has the least health with the healing power. Amount recovered is proportional to the caster's max HP. Attacks with a staff with a 20% chance to stunt. Wow, I think she's actually pretty good. I am playing this on a PC. If anyone's wondering, I'm using Bluestacks 3 because it doesn't work with Bluestacks 4. Um, she is a great... Uh, I would keep her. Um, I would... Yeah, she seems like she's a really, really great hero. But I only got one four star or higher. So I'm going to continue to summon you guys. I know some of you are probably being like, dude, what the heck, man? She's so good. Ah, but I want to I go for certain characters. So we got a five star artifact. 12% chance to stun the enemy for one turn when attacking. It's a mage exclusive. And we only got one five star. Let's go ahead and summon again. I think that they need to stop exaggerating on the boob animations. Nice eye candy, but totally unnecessary. It's kind of true. Some of these characters. Yeah. But you, you, you know, the demographic that they're going for. Like, look at this. Look, what is she not? She's not wearing proper protection, if you know what I'm saying? My wife is like, what are you doing? Don't worry. It's nothing like super inappropriate. Okay, babe. Are you eating those cookies without me? Put the cookie down. Uh, artifacts, artifacts are very useful 
they give you like small passive bonuses and stuff like that. Like like the one that gave a 12% chance to stun is really good for certain mages that stun, so. Tywin Lannister. Not exactly who I wanted, but let's look at his abilities. All out attack, attacks. All enemies again after Sword Storm with a 50% chance to decrease defense for two turns and increase defense of the caster. For three turns, damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's ma max HP. Uh, grants increased attack and critical hit chance to the caster and an ally for two turns and increases combat readiness. Attacks with the Sword Storm with a 50% chance to dispel one buff. Damage dealt. This, I feel like this guy would be really good in PvP. Are they as good as Worm Prince? I'd say they're kind of like, they're kind of like the Worm Prince of this game. We got Timeless Anchor. Why did, it, why did it... Oh, here we go. We got a four-star. And it's an artifact. Some of these artifacts, like... Girl, that is not the proper way to wield the sword. You're going to hurt somebody. Okay? She is straight up going to hurt somebody. All right, let's, let's keep going. I think Tywin would probably be a really good character for PvP. Let's keep going, you guys. Keep making our way through this. We got nothing. We got absolutely nothing. All right, let's keep going. Bada bada boom. Get the animations. We got a four star. Okay, so we've got Maya. Hello, Maya. It's a four star. One of the summons that I did in, when I was getting ready to do the video for you guys, the 300 times summon. I did one when I was at work, just playing the game for fun. And uh, I ended up getting, I think I got five four-star or higher. It was absolutely insane. I'm trying to remember what ended up happening. Oh, I ended up getting rid of that account and starting over again because I didn't record it. That's what happened. It was like crazy good though. Okay, so we got a five-star artifact. Uh, yes, this is a mobile game. I'm playing this on PC, though, for anyone that's curious. Man, that is a cool-looking card. The Rod of Amir Amaryllis. Kills the ally with the lowest health by 12% when using a non-attack skill. Definitely something good for a healer class. Only one five-star. We're almost about halfway through it, you guys. Man, I just I hope we get one really cool... Oh, this is... Is that the girl I'm thinking of? Um, I think this is the one, I think this is the one that people like, is that, no, what the heck is that, what the heck, I've never seen this character, Ruzid, alright, let's go, let's keep going, how do I fix the time error, uh, I'm not sure, Coolio, did you see this new game called Spirit Wish, yes, the one that kind of looks like, um, What's that new? What's that new mobile? M or not the, the new MMO that came out this year. Oh, she's Rose is a good tank. I wouldn't mind having Rose on a team. Yeah, it looks like there's a. Um, it's that one game that everyone kept saying was like the spirit successor to Ragnarok Online. Isn't it? Isn't this kind of like a mobile version of that? Tree of Savior. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got. How do you even say that? Scoory? I've never seen this guy. Is that a guy or a girl? I missed it. Uh, we got the infinity. Look, like this art is gorgeous. I'm going to use some of this art for some of my... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's a guy. Uh, for some of my YouTube thumbnails. Uh, Brawler Ken, is that what you're talking about, Gabe? I think he is, but I... I think people have said he's pretty good. Okay, we got a five-star artifact. Let's see, it is Shimadra Staff. Increases the health recovered by all allies by 20%. Does not overlap with an artifact providing the same. Wow, that's a really good. If you got like a single healer on your team, I think that's a really good artifact to have equipped. Guys, we're, more th we're, we're now more than halfway through the summons. And I don't think we've gotten anything like crazy good yet. Please. I think I've only gotten like one five-star hero so far. 
Scooty again? Scooey? I don't even think I've gotten like a basic good hero yet either. Like a basic four star good hero. Oh my gosh, come on. I think the game's about two gigabytes to download. Yes, uh, Vengeance, I'm currently working on a video for uh, 100 souls. I'm currently playing through it right now. Man, this art is great. Durandal, it's an epic artifact. If the caster's health is less than 75%, combat readiness increases by 8% when attacked. Nice. Definitely would want to put that on a tank. Four-star hero. Please be a four-star hero, at least. Okay, so we got Coley. She's a character I've never seen before, either. I'm seeing a lot of characters I've never seen. Man, I cannot believe the most I've gotten so far, you guys, is two. I'm, I'm hoping I get at least three. Four would be amazing. Jenna... Just making sure I'm not missing. Carrot? Oh my gosh. He's a redhead. Named Carrot. A sassy magic researcher who sees all magic as math. And her name is Carrot. I played it on my channel. Um, it's probably one of the best looking hack. Oh, hands down. That game is incredible looking. I like showed my coworkers and everything. I was like, guys, you got to check this game out. Like I was, I was shocked. I was genuinely shocked by how good it looked. Yeah, I'm going for Sez, but if I get Secret, I would be freaking pumped. Look at that, we got Carrot again. Honestly, I think at this point, if I get a 5-star hero, I'll probably keep him. I don't even care who it is. At this point, I'm going for a 5-star hero. We got two artifacts and three carrots. We end up getting three carrots in one. That is like the best name for a character, Carrot. Come on, give me a five star. Give me one five star hero. All I'm asking. Four star healer. Clarissa. Hysteric attacks all enemies by spinning, inflicting bleed for two turns. When the caster is enraged, damage dealt is increased, and an additional bleeding effect can be stacked. Oh no, she's not. I'm sorry, she's not a healer. She's a she's a warrior. Becomes enraged for three turns when an enemy is killed by harsh lesson or hysteric, and grants all enemies an ex grants all enemies an extra attack. That sucks. Attacks with a Morning Star with a 35% chance of decreased defense. And we got one. Not not many opportunities left, you guys. Only 10 left. Do you still play Monster Hunter Stories? I've I've actually never played Monster Hunter Stories. I don't I was thinking about making one for the channel, making a video for it, but then I found out it was like 20 bucks for like the full version. Kilog Lance. Oh, man, we're going to have to continue to re-roll. Raven, welcome. You're going to be here for the uh, the special announcement, which we are going to be doing pretty soon. Um, I don't think this is based off of an anime. Kaladra. Kaladra. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is like the worst summons I've ever had so far. No, a five-star artifact. Please, I just want a five-star hero at this point. What artifact do I get? Wow, Elbrus Ritual Sword? That is gorgeous. 10% chance to counterattack when an ally is attacked. Now, like I said, if you guys weren't here for it, if you end up summoning a five-star artifact, you will not be able to get a five-star hero. It just won't happen. Armin, okay. Envoy's Pipe. So we ended up getting two. We've got... Seven left, you guys. I'm getting really nervous that I'm not going to get something good. You get the summons after you beat Act 1, Chapter 10. So it takes about... It takes about half an hour to get to that point, so... Oh, my gosh. You got Vildred? Man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want a five-star. We've gotten this person, like, four times already. And we got an artifact. Sira Ren. Okay, this is our third one. Another artifact. Come on. No! We got three that time, but 
Two of them are artifacts. Guys, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, okay? Okay, so we got one four star. I'm hoping... May oh, man, come on. Girl, I'm telling you, you can't be wielding a sword like that. That is incredibly dangerous. Okay, so two four stars. Is it a hero or an artifact? Don't be an artifact. Ah, artifacts! Artifacts are like cards that you can equip onto your characters that give them special skills. Okay, so we've got two artifacts. Guys, we only have like three summons left. Thank you, Rat God. I'm like, I'm like praying to the gods of fate right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? I didn't get anything. Oh man, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried. I am really worried. Guys, send your energy through the YouTubes. Oh no. Yeah, like Worm Prince, exactly. Okay, we got Song of Stars. 50% chance to target an enemy for two turns from a single attack. Damage dealt on target enemy is increased by 15%. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Guys, I think we've got two left. We've got two left. Guys, send your energies through. I'm gonna let this, like, slowly go through. Okay, so we got a regular... Okay, we got a gold. It's a four star. Okay, we got Angelica, who I believe everyone was talking about. She's one of the best healers in the game. Um, is this the one? Oh, okay, this might be the one I might keep. There we go. Okay, so we got one four star. I don't mind if I get a good healer. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, decreased damage is received by 10% when health is less than 50%. When this effect is granted more than once, only the strongest effect will apply it. Okay. Okay, so we got another gold. This is a four star. I I'm hoping it's a hero. It is a hero. Okay, we've got Silk. An a gentle elf walking within the eternal wind. Well, good for her. Attack all enemies with wind with an 80% chance to decrease speed for two turns and granting increased speed to all allies. Ooh, she's... Yeah, I might do... I might keep this one, guys. Uh, gains one focus at the end of the turn and consumes two focus when attacked. If the caster's stacked focus is more than two, uh, single shot is enhanced to automatic fire and damage is in dealt is increased. Shoots arrows at the enemy, decreasing their combat readiness by 7%. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's speed. So you want to really boost up her speed. So, Okay, so we've gotten two four stars so far. This might be the hand to keep you guys. This might be the hand. Okay, so we've got Adlay. We've got a mage, Sagittarius. It's good to know that his birthday is Sagittarius. We got two four stars. Wow, look, Carmen Rose. Okay. I think this is like five. Number five so far. Okay, we got another mage. We got Adlay again. So nervous. We've gotten two golds or higher. Sword of the Morning. Increase attacks, attack and speed by 10% when health is less than 50%. Okay. Daydream Joker. Deals extra damage equivalent to 1.5% of the enemy's max health when attacking. So it's I guess that'd be something you'd want to use on a boss. Like a heavy tank boss. We got a furry, M M Mukacha. It's a freaking sweet name, Mukacha. I think we have one more. I think this is the last one. And Terranor Guard. I think that's the last one. Yep, okay, so. <sighs> this, is where, this is where it comes down to it, you guys. We have one more summon left. I heard Angelica's a really great healer. And Silk seems to be pretty good in terms of uh in terms of other stuff. So let's go ahead. Okay. Guys, let me know in the comments. Should I reroll? What can you do with duplicates? You can use them as fodder and 
uh, and use them to feed to the other characters, I think. I'm not entirely sure. All right, guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing one more summon. We're doing one more summon. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is the last one. Please, five-star character secret. Five-star character secret, you guys. Send it through. Send it through. Okay, we got three-star oath key. Decreased chance of missing by 10%. Okay, so that's one. This is number two. Yes, Destina is really good. I would recommend keeping her. Increase attack and speed. Okay, we already got that one before. Okay, here's our first four-star. It's a character. It's that one girl, Dominiel, the Ice Mage. What are her abilities? Attacks with a large block of ice with a 35% chance each to stun for one turn and decrease combat readiness by 30%. Cast Reflect and a barrier on all allies for two turns with Frost Magic Barrier Strength. Increases in proportion to caster's attack. Hell throws ice fragments at the enemy with 35% chance to decrease speed for two turns. I, looks like a character you'd probably want to use for uh, PvP as well. So that's our first one. I think this is number four. Summon four in this. I'm not sure. We got an archer character we haven't seen yet. Rima, the bard. Come on, baby. Come on. Give us a five star. Give us a five star. That's all we're asking for right now. We got another archer. Kiris. Man, I have a feeling we're only going to get like one gold this time. Future city candlestick. Oh, I clicked, I clicked fast. Okay, we got another four star. Adamant shield. Oh, no! That's it. We have no more summon opportunities. That's it, you guys. Uh, we do get a free sum. How many summons can we do? Rip. We're gonna re-roll. We're, we're straight up gonna re-roll. We have a visitor. We've got a couple of summons. Why don't we just? Why don't we do a couple of these? See if we can't get anything good. I, I doubt it. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely re-roll. Like hundred percent. Why did you call me? Uh, your business, Carmen Rose. And nothing. Yeah, we got bad luck this time, you guys. Order. Azalea. That's a cool name. Of the Rengar Public Security Club. Azalea Pormia. Pormia? Keep her. She's my daughter. That's what I was thinking the first time I saw her. Okay, we got two more. Don't worry, Raven. We'll probably end up getting her later anyway, so. Wow. Sword of the Morning. That's awesome. Yes, I get it. Stop it. Okay, one more. Yo, Aztec, welcome, man. Nothing. Nothing good. Uh, Smilegate Interactive is the developers for this game. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and reset. Because that was lame. I cannot believe. So... Yep, we went ahead and reset. Goodbye. We're going to go back through. We're going to try this again. We're going to actually try to go through this as fast as possible this time, you guys. Man, that was so lame. Yeah, you can switch from Korean to the global, so... No, 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 not Korean. Ah, crap. Well, here's my Korean account, if you guys were wondering. Did you want to see me? <laughs> if you guys were interested, this is my favorite character right here. It's, all, it's in English. Cigarette, not secret. Cigarette is her name. She's my favorite character. That's what I'm going for. Dang it. Um... Yeah, I really like Secret. She's my favorite character, so. 
Yeah, you can just you can just reset to re-roll. I just I wasn't paying attention to the server that I was on. So just make sure you're on the global server when you go to hit reset. And then let me just pull this up real quick. Um We're gonna try to go through this a lot faster than we did before, because that was really long. Skip everything. I'm sure Fortune will be on our side today as well. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. We're just gonna destroy all these guys. I'll take you on. To me. Wait. Yeah, when you reset, it clears your account and then you can go back through and pick it again, so. I'm gonna skip through all. The I'm sorry for anyone that's just showing up right now. Wolf Daver, you had to reset too. If they won't get Secret does way, sound way cooler, we'll right? Do you have nothing left to say? May we both have good rolls. Good luck, Matan Yoon. I, I apologize if I just totally butchered your name. Uh, in Korean, it sounds like Secret. Doesn't Secret Shall sound like a go. way cooler name? Dancing Blade. Man, I really hope I get her. Does reroll till I get seven five stars at the same time? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, if that happens, Raven, will you please take a screenshot and show us on the Discord? That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Is a little blonde kid a prince or a princess? Because he sounds a lot like a girl and looks like a young girl. Are you talking about like the main character? Like this guy right here? Like the the white haired kid? Did I play during beta? I didn't. I played on the Korean server. So. Um, a lot of people are recommending to go for Destina or Sez uh, for the character, so. I would bag all night, Coolio. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to tell you the special announcement. All right, you guys ready? Fortune will favor us. Guys, like I've I've been really thinking about this lately. It's been on my brain. I talked to my wife. We sat down, we discussed it. Are you guys ready for this this announcement that I've that I've been hyping up like all day? Yo, Uden Sen, welcome. All right, here's the cinematic. This is the same one where that girl gets like shredded and gets killed like super fast. All right, guys, this is the announcement. And I feel like we have enough people watching, which thank you so much. 200 people is insane. Um, this is the announcement. Here we go. This is the announcement. I am officially going full-time YouTube in about two weeks. I went into my boss today at work and I told her I'm putting my two weeks in. I quit my job and I'm going full-time YouTube. So starting in two weeks, what that means for the channel is I will, um, I will be uploading two videos a day and live streaming every single day from Monday through Friday. So, I figured I'd let you guys know. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, like I need all the luck in the world. So, um, we'll have more time for more content. I'll be trying to recheck. I'm going to check out some old, you know, old games like AOV in the future. All that stuff. But yeah, we're going to we're going to be going full time here on YouTube. Thanks for the support you guys. You guys are the best. Um, but yeah, we're going full time. I'll be uploading at least a minimum of two videos a day and live streaming every single day. So it should be pretty good. We're at that point where we can actually do this. And it's because of you guys. You guys are the best. You've been there. You've been supporting me. It's, it's been amazing. And so one of the, uh, one of the big things that we're going to be doing too on the channel um, is with the live streams. Let me go ahead and skip past this stuff. My secret to same day delivery? Uh, with the live streams, how it's going to work, what, I, what I'm hoping we're going to be doing is I do have a Patreon account, and but I'm going to switch the Patreon account because I used to have it where it was tiered, like you could donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, things like that. I'm going to get rid of all of that 
and just have a base $1 donation, or you can decide to do more. But anybody that joins the Patreon, um, every right. Shall we clean up? week, there'll be a, uh, a vote to decide what game we play that week. And so when we live stream, we're gonna be playing that game throughout the whole week based off of those people's votes. And so you can have the opportunity to decide what game I, I live stream every single day for the week. So that's how we're gonna end up doing that. Um, and then there's, there are gonna be times where like when new games and stuff come out, we'll do live streams like, like we're doing for this one. We'll do special live streams um, Shall we go? for new releases and stuff. But it's all, it's all the Coolio crew can decide what games we'll be live streaming that week. And we'll pick a new game every single week, play through it as a group, as a, as a community, talk about it on the Discord channel. And then, um, and then we'll possibly do like a, an end of the week review on it. So, so yeah, that's, that's how we're gonna do that. Uh, does this game feel, uh, a lot of people say it, it is free to play friendly, but uh, you have to be patient is what a lot of people are saying, so. Uh, woot woot. That's so awesome that you're going full-time. Thanks, Mash. Set that Patreon up. Not even joking. It, I think there's a link in the description uh, for the Patreon right now. Um, but I'm going to work on it tonight and tomorrow to get it all switched over to the new type of donation setup. Um, so I am going to get it switched over. But there is a... I'm pretty sure there's a link in the description below for anyone that wants to go... Check it out. And so, yeah, I'll make posts and stuff over on the Patreon. And then every Monday morning, I'll have a video. So the votes will go throughout the whole week. Get ready. Friday night or the weekend, I'll gather up all the votes to find out which game everyone wants to see. And then Monday morning, I'll make a video announcement letting the community know, guys, we're playing this game this week. Let's all play it together. And then we'll play it in the live stream. We'll talk about our experiences. It's going to be great. Give me your favorite games, Coolio, and I'm gonna make you a new batter. Okay, favorite games right now, Epic Seven, um, Ragnarok M. I'll take you on. Arena of Valor still is a, that's a game that is still in my heart. Um, I'll give you well, there was another one I was thinking about too. Dragalia Lost. You can't escape. And there's one that I just, I made a video for that I really liked. Kingdom War Tactics, I think is what it's called. Man, I just made a video for it. I really liked it. Oh, I don't know why I'm not attacking the boss. I should be attacking the boss. Because he almost just killed my... Uh, support the channel, everyone. If you enjoy the content, make sure you make it easier for... Yeah, you guys, you guys are the lifeblood of this community. Like, seriously, I, I can't do this without you guys, so... I've been playing a lot of Destiny Knights, and it's so free-to-play friendly, I feel a bit spoiled. That's another That's another game that I've heard a lot of people uh, a lot of people recommend that I should check out, so. Uh, can't wait for more AOV videos. It'll probably be like revisiting old like characters, checking out new characters and stuff. It'll most likely be like a, a revisit kind of a video. Go back and just check out some of the new stuff, so. Uh, Coolio, how is this game compared to Dragalia Lost? Unfortunately, I only have time to play one of them. Um, this game is is very different from Dragalia Lost. Like, th this one's a strategy, turn-based action type of game. Oh, calm down, girl. Jeez. Uh, while Dragalia Lost is action-based, um, I would say the grind in this game may feel a little bit easier, only because... Um, with Jagalia Lost, the auto combat system in the game, sometimes you have to really pay attention because you'll end up getting wrecked if you don't. So. I'll support you by disabling. <laughs> Thanks, Uden. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good night, guys. Time to go to sleep. Night, Mash. Thanks for being here, man. Are you in the global server? I don't know which server. I'm in the global, yeah. Kingdom of Hero Tactics War was probably yes. That's what I was thinking of. Vengeance. I really like that game. It. I know it's not like the best game currently going out right now, but I I think it's pretty good. So. If you have not checked out Destiny Knights, I would highly recommend it. There are a lot of cool characters in the best combat system. And the combat system. Oh, and the combat system is great. I have thought about checking it out. In fact, actually, I I did download Destiny Knights when it first came out. 
Um, and I think I was going to make a video on it, but I never got a, like, I All never right. got the chance to. Up? And so I ended up uninstalling it. So I'll have to go back and recheck it out. So I'll take you on. Um, this might be, this will probably be my last reroll for the night. I'm going to go through this, get through the story as fast as I possibly can this time, skipping the tutorial, doing all that stuff. Um, and I'll probably do one more reroll and I'll go through it a lot faster than I did before. So if they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. Because what I did before, I kind of made my way slowly through it. So. So I like Final Fantasy, Brave Exodus, and Chain you Chronicle, but I didn't like Summoner's War of Seven Nights. Should I play Jigali Lost or Epic Seven? Ooh, that's a tough one. I um, lose. I think you'll probably like. I would Shall recommend giving Epic Seven a try first because it seems a little bit closer to you like Final escape. Fantasy, Brave Exodus. Um, but Jigali Lost is probably the farthest difference between Summoner's War Am and I Seven Nights. Now? Seven Do Nights, like actually it? Seven Nights is really similar to uh, to this stronger. game, so it's up to you. You can select which enemy to attack in auto mode by touching enemies you want to attack. Yes. Firm Arcasus, thank you so much for being here. Let's keep on going, you guys. I wish it didn't take so long to get through the <laughs> through these tutorials. There's so many tutorials. Yes, yes, got it, got it. I'm glad that there's some that lets you skip. You can't skip them all, you guys. You can't skip them all. Let's go ahead and grab our inventory stuff real quick. Specifically this girl. Um, because I want to add her onto my team. Because with her on my team, I'll be able to get through some of the combat faster. And then look at this. Enhance. And I'm going to actually enhance her with the Frost Slime. Making her stronger. Because with her being stronger, then uh, I'll be able to get through some of this fast a little bit, uh, some of this stuff a little bit faster than than I could before. So here we go. Well, help me if one of you guys stole my name. No, oh, who took my name? You guys are the worst. Fine, I'll go Coolio YT. It's, honestly, it's probably because I did a Coolio game in my last one and erase it, it might take a little bit, so. Um, how long does a reroll take in this game? It takes, if you go through it as fast as you possibly can, I would say you can get it done in 20 to 30 minutes. If you really just focus straight out on it. Right. Oh, you can't use the same so nickname clear. after rerolling? That sucks. <laughs> I thought I could do it. I thought I did it in the Korean one. I did it so. Uh, I guess. Command me. Yeah, I thought I did it in the Korean one. I'll take you on. That stinks. I'll do my best. If they won't get out of the way, we'll cut our way through. Man, that stinks. I think they should. Am I improving? Yeah, the reroll in this game. Um, how it works is, you Shall play through know? the main story until here. you get to. Um, I can't lose. Chapter one, oh, act ten, and once you beat that, then you get thirty summons, thirty Let times ten summons, it. to get what you want. But yeah, the downside is that it does take a while to get to that point. So, <clears throat> all right. Yeah, maybe Shall change your name up? first before you reset. That's a that's a good idea. This is my victory. Yeah, so in chapter one, ver chapter one, act ten, which is what I'm going to right now, um, you'll you'll see you'll see how that works. Thirty times ten summons. So you get if you go through the whole summoning process, you'll end up summoning like three hundred. Uh, you'll get three hundred summons. It's crazy. Now you don't get all three hundred summons. You get to decide one of those thirty summons. Mercedes. But you still get 10 pulls, um, but you can try it 30 times. I need to do my best, huh? You can't escape. 
But I'm I'm okay with the fact that uh Shall we go? I mean Coolio YT, I use it for a lot of stuff anyway, so I will release my power. Yeah, one of the one of the lame things about it is you can't skip the uh, cinematics. Which is the worst. Alright, shall we clean up? Yeah, let's clean up. Yeah, a lot of people are recommending to go for Sez, so. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Confirm. Now we can do a summon, and this will give us a summon right here. I'm praying that we get a good attack character. It'll help us get through the game faster. Welcome to the we get our free summons. Library. The infinite library, where you use bookmarks to summon characters. Do you think game will get more popular than Dragali Lost, like more players and longer? Um, if it might take a while for the game to get to the popularity of a game like Dragali Lost, because Dragalia Lost has. Um, did you call me? Has Nintendo backing it up, and that brought in people outside of the gacha gaming um, circle. So, hey, I'm glad I got. I'm pretty sure she's a she's an attacker, so that'll be good to have her on the team. Hopefully, be able to get through some of this stuff pretty fast. Mika, a customer. We We've a got visitor. a customer. Thank you. Well, let's keep going. Chapter five. We're halfway there. I got got secret. Keep a reroll. Keep. I I love secret. She does a lot of damage. Yeah, and Dragalia Lost has the money, and the and the huge um, company behind it. That they're they're able to pump out content like crazy. So. Yeah. Got to talk to her, skip that, go up north. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. Dude, good luck, Jonathan. Let us know if you get anything super cool. Because I for sure didn't get anything super good. I did get that one... Uh, I did get that one tank character. He was pretty cool. Nintendo literally bought 5% of the company, so best believe they will doing a... Yeah. <laughs> They're heavily invested in that game right now. The funny thing is, is I don't know if any of you guys saw it. Uh, there was some reports talk talking about Dragali Loss and how much money they ended up making. And um, I think it made like... I want to say it was like $3 million within the first 48 hours. Something along the... Like, it made a lot of money uh, for its launch. But... It was the lowest, um, the lowest amount of money that any of the other Nintendo games had gotten so far in uh, their launch. So like, um, Fire Emblem Heroes got a whole bunch of mon money. Um, there was that other game, the one where like you build your house and you talk to your neighbors and everything. Like that. Animal Crossing that also made like a crap ton of money compared to. Um, Compared to Dragali Lost. But Dragali Lost did make a good amount of money, so. Fire Emblems is way good. Except, like, I, when I was going through Fire Emblem Heroes, I, I wanted to make a video about it. But man, like, right now, it is, there is so, so much content in that game. I'd have to play it for, like, several weeks if I wanted to make a video on it and not get stuff wrong. Because there's like all these IPs and summon things and characters and I, I it's, it's all over the place for me. But it is a great game. Absolutely great game. I think for Epic 7, like this game itself, for the fact that like there isn't like a huge company backing it up and there's not like a, like a really popular IP behind it, um... It um, it's doing really, really good for a game uh, for itself. So as far as I'm aware. So you said Dragali Lost is more grindy and less auto battle, and you basically have to like, it's yeah. If you're gonna go through the game, um, you co-op is a huge thing. Like there's some content, like 
like you don't have to just do co-op to get through certain stuff but there are some like end game raids and dungeons and stuff that if you want to get like the best rewards and the highest grind and stuff um you have to play co-op i would stick with destina because she's apparently a really good healer like one of the best top three so if you've got her i recommend sticking with her because she's one of the best ones you're gonna get i can't lose there is a i did turn auto combat is turned on i just realized i should probably turn auto combat oh, on because my arm was like going numb from like clicking so much Good luck, Zero Two. Let us know if you get anything good. Also, I just pulled this up. I just want to let people, uh, you guys know. Thank you so much to OZC for subscribing. Lisa Parker, um, Crom Crouch, Grimm's Gaming. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm trying my best to, to keep an eye out for you guys, for those of you that are subscribing to the channel. So. There's an auto mode, but it's not great. Never heard of a reroll where you have to clear up to no. stage 10 and get 300. Oh, yeah, it's crazy, Crucify. It is. Like, <laughs> this is the. I think this is the game that has, like, the best reroll. It just takes a while to get to that point. But they're very generous to, like, give you the opportunity to, to get the characters that you want. So, they kind of, like, open that up for you. You've become stronger. Yeah, I was hoping they'd have the Halloween girl, too, but she's she's not here. As far as I'm aware, she's not here. I think she's awesome. I think she looks so cool. Instant heal. So I've used auto comp like when I played the Korean version for this game, I used the auto combat for events. Like I was playing through the Halloween event and my characters were a lot stronger than a lot of the monsters. So I just turned auto combat on and they just move mowed through it. The only problem is um, the only options that you have right here is to turn off uh, certain skill abilities so your characters don't use like ultimate skills. Um, so you, you still have to kind of pay attention to be like, oh, okay, now it's time for me to turn my auto my skills on because they will absolutely waste their uh, their ultimate skills. So. Am I helpful now? Do you like me? Yeah, Jigali lost. The only dragon I care about is Silk. Silk was really cool. Yeah, with the 30 pulls, um, you can only get one 5-star out of the whole thing. As soon as you get a 5-star, whether it's an artifact or a character, uh, if you get an artifact, you can't get a character. If you get a character, you can't get an, a 5-star artifact. As soon as you get your first 5-star, you won't get a 5-star for the rest of, the, of that section of pulls, that 10 pulls. So. And now we can activate my ultimate ability, so. If Jigali doesn't appeal to GBF fans or add any new content, it will never reach a stone's throw distance FGO. Azulane and Honkai are doing way better than Jigali, despite all the polish. You know, I would kind of agree with that. Like, the thing that amazes me is, so when I was doing the video for Azure Lane, I was blown away by how friendly and helpful the community was. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Probably one of the best gaming communities I've come across was Azure Lane. The people there are so nice, very helpful. The Reddit is incredibly active, but I recommend, like, if you're gonna go to the Reddit, there, there's drawings and stuff, so. Like, nothing like crazy inappropriate. But yeah, just saying. Yeah, a lot of them came from the girls' front line. Yeah, there's a there's an up another upcoming strategy game that's very similar to Epic Seven that I think a lot of people, a lot of you guys might be interested in. Um, it is called. I'm gonna make a video talking about it. Um, Idola Fantasy Star Saga. It's based off of the Fantasy Star series, and they're making a mobile game that's very very similar to Epic Seven, and it's coming out probably the beginning of next year so how does these 10 pulls work because it's kind of a pain to do singles only um have you gotten to the if you've gotten to the selective summons i'll show you we're almost there we're like on act seven right now so we only got a couple left 
Oh, Sinka, Lara, I told... That game is so active. I love it. And the thing is, is like... I've played a lot of mobile MMOs, and they're all just auto-play games, and I can't stand it. It's, you're not even playing the game. You're watching the game play itself. But with Ragnarok M, you actually play the game. It's awesome. Like, and the game's actually fun to play. And so, yeah, I, I really love Ragnarok. It's, it's a game that, like... Like, I was playing it last night, and my phone was dying, and I was like, No, I, I want to keep playing! And like all the players that you see running around, you know they're not they're not just basic auto combat auto playing and stuff. They're actually playing the games themselves. It just makes the game feel so alive, so. Call yeah, it's Yeah, it's an FG FGO clone. But Epic 7 is kind of similar to that. Where you've got characters on the left side, there's these 2D animations, they move from left to right to attack. That's kind of like that, so. So this game, FGO and Idola are kind of in a similar style of gameplay. Am I helpful now? Yeah, Do you're like very it? helpful, thank you. Okay, I think we're getting there, you guys. This is number nine, so we we're actually on eight, so this is number nine. So we just have to beat this one, and then we beat Act 10, and then we can do the, the summons again. Yeah, Froggy, that's true. I agree with the, the, the auto and the manual. I think one of my characters isn't healed. Yep. Completely forgot to heal my character up. That's okay. I've noticed that my characters are a higher level than the my previous one, so... I wish you could just skip this part, but you can't. We both are on the same stage. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, will you make a video on the new Sega Heroes game when it comes out? Yes, I will. I definitely will. You can't escape. I've got a couple of games. Another game that I'm planning on doing, um, like a really long live stream for, is. Um, the upcoming Elder Scrolls Blades game. That comes out December 1st. And I plan on doing a really long live stream for that one when it comes out. I like that. Yeah, when when grinding auto is great, but when pushing content manual is best. I was, so like I was telling people before, um, ooh, Ken is good. I would keep Ken. Um, how to download Epic You just go to your iOS store or, or Google store. You got Secret? Awesome. Secret, I guess is her name. Yes, I will play Diablo Immortals. Sorry, I guess people, Oh, I guess Ken is not good. I think there's like a dark version of Ken, but you can't get him till later. Uh, yeah, I am gonna I am gonna play Diablo Immortals when it comes out. By my command. Uh, I think people say Ravi was good. I can't remember. Anyone in comment in the in chat want to let him know? There we go. Ravi's great. Any info when Diablo comes out? No info just yet, but from what I've heard, it'll most likely come out at the beginning of next year. Am I helpful now? Because according to like the game de demo and stuff at BlizzCon, it was like very bare minimum. And that they still have a lot of stuff that they're working on. Okay, we're getting there, you guys. We are almost there. It's going to take us back to san Sanctuary. We got to do, like, one more tutorial. Improving my buildings. Yada, yada, yada. Thank you. Let me just go back. I don't care. Back to adventure mode. And now we are gonna beat chapter 10. This is the last one that we gotta do. The sanctuary gate underground. 
Yeah, there. I, I bet you there'll be a beta for Diablo Immortals. It could potentially come out. The, I, honestly, I think even with the beta, I think the beta might not even start till next year too. Master of all life. By your splendor. Yeah, Steven, you should be able to play the global version. Yeah, the uh, the uh, did you go look at the Azure Lane Reddit? <laughs> There's a lot of useful information and there's a lot of active community okay. members, but the Reddit is full of art. The community pours its fan art into that Reddit like crazy. And art from the game too, so. Yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> yep, you, you gotta love those uh those dedicated guys. People are very dedicated to that game. At least it's not I don't know. It, it can be bad. What's the best game to get right now? Honestly, I've been addicted. Like, it, I get, it depends on what kind of game you want to play. If you're looking for, like, a strategy RPG, try out Epic 7. If you want, like, an action-based one, there's that new 100 Souls game that's been, ap like, a blast. Um, if you're looking for, like, an MMORPG, I highly recommend um, playing uh, Ragnarok M, Eternal Love. That game's amazing. Ooh, we just got another subscriber, but I don't know who it was because I can't see. Thank you for subscribing, random citizen. Is there auto in this game? And if so, up to what extent? Um, I'm, I'm currently using auto right now. Is and we got a story. Speed? Listen to this guy. Listen to what he says. Listen to his grunt. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh... Fantastic. I'm gonna turn off auto combat. I'll help you. Call. Mercedes, preparation complete. Beyond the abyss. You got Assyria three times? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll make everything disappear. Oh yeah, Raven. Carmen Rose is totally your daughter. Have I played Endless Frontier? Man, I feel like I have. I'm trying to remember what, what type of gameplay it is. Endless Frontier. Oh wait, no, I haven't. I have not, but I know what it is. I'll take you on. I'll take you on. I will destroy everything. Slowly. Jeez, look at this. Some of these animations are just like way over the top. Like that like completely like freezed my... We like froze my, my screen. Well duh, I'm the best waifu so of course my daughter is one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish she had like, a, like an ultimate cinematic but she doesn't. Oh, she does a lot of damage. Need to do my Is that mage Tenebria good? Uh, I don't know. I'll help there we go. I'm glad that we got someone from the Korean servers. That sounds like they know what they're talking about. It's good. Okay, stop going for my main guy. You're gonna kill him. Jeez. Preparation complete. Let's fight together. And you done, boy. Perfect. Okay. We're almost there, you guys. Now we just got to watch the anime again and then we we're gonna go through our summons we're gonna go a lot faster this time because we've been live streaming for like two hours and i gotta feed the i gotta feed the canines the police dogs they're probably going crazy out there any way to get around summoning one by one um i don't i don't know i i thought that if you end up getting at least 10 it lets you do a 10 summon but i don't know Music is so good, but yeah, it'd be so much better if it was singing. Oh no, she's crying. I wish I knew why she was... Oh, geez, that's probably why she's crying. Dun, 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 dun. Jonathan's gonna re-roll. Sorry, man. Guys, cross your fingers. Send the luck, send the energy straight through the screen. Let's see if we can do this. 
Gosh, the animation, like the anime, like this stuff is amazing. Like all the characters have like so much like character behind them. I would straight up watch an anime like this. <laughs> Come on, Goku. Seriously, like if I, like guys, send me like the freaking spirit energy right now. I'm gonna make a spirit ball and send it through my computer and get the freaking amazing summons. Oh yeah, this this would be an awesome anime. Oh yeah, I'd definitely watch it. Okay, finally we're in chapter two. All right, we're gonna back up. Yada yada yada. I don't care. I don't want you to show me around. Cancel. Thanks for the rewards. It has to be over a hundred thousand. It's over nine thousand. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Oh man. Let's do this. Cross your fingers. We're gonna we're gonna go through this fast. Okay, so we got our first four summon. First first four star summon, and it is a hero. It's what the heck? A a Kytus, a Katis, a Soul Weaver, Gemini. We got another four star. Thanks, Victor. This is it, guys. This is this is the time. This is where we're gonna get something amazing. We gotta do it for the live stream. Okay, nothing there. I get it, I get it. I wanna get a five star. I don't even care what it is. I don't want an artifact five star, I just want a five star hero. At this point, I would settle for a five star hero. Purge it, Purgus, Purgus. You can get up to one five-star. If you get a five-star artifact, you cannot get a five-star hero or another five-star artifact. If you get a five-star hero, you will not get a five-star artifact. So you only get one. Okay. Five-star hero. Oh my gosh. Please tell me it's someone good. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Basar, I haven't seen this guy. Guys, let me know. Let me know if this is a good if this is a good guy. What's his abilities? Leaps into the air and strikes at the enemy with a sword storm, dispelling one buff and decreasing defense for two. Skip. We're skipping him. Skip that guy. He's trash, thanks. He looks cool, but I guess he's trash. Water's origin. Okay. So far, nothing super good. Dang it, a five-star artifact. Come on. What is it? It is the Elbrus Ritual Sword. We, we already got that one before. Ain't nothing super good there. I know there's some good four, three stars, but I'm all about the five stars, you guys. The Strock Gauntlet. And another five-star hero. Come on, baby. Be secret. Oh, Ravi is supposed to be pretty good. Brutally attacks all enemies with a 75% chance of stun for one turn, thus decreasing the enemy's combat readiness to zero. Demon's blood increases attack proportional to fighting spirit. When attacked, combat readiness increases by 8% and five fighting spirit to gain. All right, everyone's telling me to keep her. Who else did I end up getting? Alexa, Aether, Enit. Guys, should I keep her? That's only my fifth one. I still have 25 more. If, if she's good, I'll keep her. But you guys decide. You guys throw it up in the comment, in the chat. Should I continue or should I keep her? Keep. People are saying go more. Continue. Ravi is so good. Just keep, keep, keep. Guys, I think we're probably going to keep her. Oh, but now other people are saying, don't keep. 
She's a good tank. Yeah, you should go more. It's your choice. More fun to reroll. Need healer. Keep. Continue. Reroll. Most say keep. Continue. Roll. 25 left. Still too early. Continue. Just when you got Ravi, I got her as well. You only get to keep. Okay, we're just going to keep re-rolling, okay? If we don't get... Because honestly, like... Honestly, even if we don't get something amazing in this 300 summons or whatever, I'm definitely going to just re-roll on my phone. So, whatever. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Guys, we're doing it. We're That's the fun thing, all right? We're, we're, we're just going to do this. Okay, we're, we're going for it. Here we go. Come on, because it, it's way more fun to keep re-rolling, right? We just want to see all the good stuff. Got a hero. Okay, we got a tank hero. We got Armin. Only one. I love how, like, right now... There's probably thousands of people across the world that are just constantly re-rolling this game. Sorry, for those of you guys that missed it, I, I, I skipped past her. Only because I was only at five. I have 25 left, you know? We got a four-star hero. Oh, I, haven't, I have seen this guy, Zerato. He's pretty cool looking. We got another four star. I think it's an artifact. Yep. Um, anything good? Zerato, Uri, Tira. Let's keep going. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me the five star. Give me one more five star at least. Okay. Okay, Sash Ethane. Five star artifact. Oh, we got this one before. I know that there's some good four star and uh, three star heroes, but guys, I'm all about the five stars. Another artifact. Girl, like I, I've said this before, don't hold the blade like that. You're gonna get hurt. This is a four-star hero. It is. Oh, the healer girl, Angelica. She was pretty good. If I get a five-star damager, that would be the best, but I didn't. Azalea, Cluri. Now nah, let's keep going. It's not, it's not good enough. Not good enough. I want, I want all the good stuff, you guys. Sash Ethanes. If I could get just like four golds and above, that'd be awesome. Okay, we got Sid. He's kind of cool looking. I feel like he'd be like the star of like an anime or something. We got another one of these. We got three pulls, three golden pulls that time. We're almost halfway there. Hey, look, we got Angelica again. We got this guy, Zerato. Then we got two that time, Angelica and Zerato. I'm getting comments that people are saying I should have kept, I should have stayed with Sid. Now I'm kind of kicking myself. Oh well, it's fine. We're just gonna keep going. It's all about the summons, you guys. I want Se I want Secret like really bad. She's the character that I want more than any of the other characters. Okay, so we're over halfway now. Oh, come on. 
man. Come on, come on, come on. We got 14-ish more to go. It's an artifact. You got secret? Come on, I want secret. Okay, we got one that time. Guys, I'm going to be like really sad if I don't get at least one more five-star. <laughs> but not a five-star artifact. Which five-star artifact is it? Ooh, we haven't gotten this one yet. Abyssal Crown. She's like pissed. Something happened. 12% chance to stun the enemy for one turn when attacking. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. We've got... Oh, I like her. Surin. I don't know if she's good or not, but I had her on my other team. And I thought she did pretty good. What else did we get? Terranor, Cluri, Kyrus. Let's keep going. Wow, I didn't get anything. Come on, Secret. Oh my gosh, nothing again. Guys, if this ends up being like a dud, I'm gonna be so sad. Come on, I just want like one more five star at least. How about this? Wait, is that Sid? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Guys, is Sid supposed to be amazing or something? Cuts with a dagger, granting an extra turn. If the enemy is defeated, attacks with a more powerful skill when the caster is granted. Increase speed. Wait, hold on. Enhance relentless strike, increasing damage dealt when the caster is granted. Increased speed and defense. Relentless strike, attacks with a dagger, a critical hit with increased speed of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's speed. You can, so you can use this guy everywhere. So I'm hearing people saying that I should keep him. Sending Axe when an enemy is defeated, increase critical hit chance of all hours by 5%. Effect can only last two turns. When do you get the chance to do these mass rerolls? It's after Act 10. I'm going to go through this one a little bit slow because we got Sid, and I'm hoping that we get... Oh, no. While holding this gauntlet, you can destroy... As health decreases, defense and speed increase by up to 25. Holy smokes. I feel like this would be really, really good with Sid. Guys, what do you think I should do? We're in the end game now. This is <laughs> we only got nine more nine more to go. Look at this one. Pearl Horizon? A quiet banshee who strangles her enemies slowly. That is look how she's cute, but that, that freaks me out. <laughs> Alright, let's keep rolling. People are telling me to skip. Let's do it. Okay, we're doing five star crucify. We're doing it. Okay, we got nothing there. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One five star. One five star is all I ask. Whatever the next... If we get a five star, that's what we're going to go for. Dingo. Look at this guy. He's a dingo. Whatever our next five star hero is, that's, that's definitely what we're going to be doing. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so this is the third gold that we got. It's another artifact. And nothing there. Let's keep going. And nothing again. Oh my word. You guys. Oh no! No! We're in the last five. We are in the last five. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna slam the table. Okay, I'm like freaking out right now. Okay, here we go, come on, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. It's happening again, you guys. No, 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 come on, come on. 
Okay. Hashtag pray. Hashtag spirit bomb. Okay, we're going. We're, we're going at this one slow. We're doing this one slow. So Cleary, Clue, Cleary. Dude, I'm I'm totally screwed. Cursed compass. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Come on, come on, daydreamer. Oh my gosh. I will. Okay, here we go. Come on. We got two left. This is our last two. I can't even I can't even watch. Believe in the heart of the cards, you guys. I choose you, Pikachu. Come on. I should have kept that Ravi. Like a hundred percent I should have. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is so such bad luck. Hashtag believe, hashtag pray, hashtag spirit bomb, hashtag believe in the heart of the cards. Hashtag Ugh. Hashtag. Guys, we haven't gotten squat. We haven't gotten a single gold. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my heck. No. Oh no. Not a single gold. Hashtag rip nothing. This is it. This is it. Last summon. Last summon. Okay, guys. We're doing this one real slow. Real slow. Oh no! <laughs> no! The first one had to be a freaking five star artifact. If the caster's health is less than 75%, combat readiness increases by 8% when attacked. Rip my face. And it's her. Obviously, it's got to be her. No! Three of them? Three? Ugh. Look at this. I got one. I got two heroes. Everything else is a freaking... Oh... Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Cause I'm gonna re I'm gonna re-roll my own terms later just by myself. <laughs> Cause I'm done re-rolling. Oh shoot, I should not have done that. I wanted to do it on the new banner. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. Let's try to go for dis dis Destina. I'm probably going to waste all my premium currency, too. Just for the heck of it. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have, like, the worst luck. Come on, come on, baby. Okay, we got an archer, you Rima. For me? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Little boy. Come on, baby. Give me the good stuff. Ugh. Yes, we're going to waste. I know I'm probably not even going to keep this, so whatever.
We got carrot. Efficiency in everything I do, especially magic and math. Yeah, if you decide to summon again, you lose the the last summons. You don't get you don't get to keep the previous summons. I think I have one more. Public Security Club Officer Judith reporting in. I think this is my last last summon I can get. Oh my gosh, nothing. I should have kept Ravi. I should have kept her. Hmm. Please. I can't believe I got her like on my fifth one though. That's the worst. That's it. It's over. It's over, you guys. No more summons. I don't think I have any more tickets I can I can acquire. Hmm. That's it. Well, guys, I'm gonna end the live stream. <laughs> I'm going to end the live stream right there, but I will 100% continue to do my rerolls and stuff on my other, on my actual phone and things like that. Well, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for being here for the live stream. You guys had fun watching this live stream, even though I had terrible luck. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys missed this, uh, I did announce I will be going full-time YouTube in about two weeks. Uh, I'll be uploading a whole bunch of more videos and stuff every single day, live stream every single day. It's going to be an absolute blast. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, my friends.